really, for me, it was all about um, you know, finding, finding quality time with my family, spending time with my kids, my grandkids, my brothers and sisters. Does the current political climate factor into your decision? I wouldn't say that that was a major part of the equation, but it was definitely a part of it. It's a political climate that had Democratic operatives targeting Congressman Reichert's district even before today's announcement. Now Washington's 8th will likely be one of the most competitive congressional races of 2018 as Democrats try to take back the U.S. House. Before this announcement, people were saying, you know, this is, this is Dave Reichert's district. It's his to, to win again. Uh, after this announcement, the pundits have been saying that this now leans to a Democrat, and, uh, and I think that could be correct uh, considering the, the traveling that I've done in the district and talking to people. The, the feel uh, that I get, the gut feeling that I have is that the, there is a lean to, to the left, not a strong lean, but there is a lean there, and I think there's an opportunity. It's going to be a tough battle. A tough battle in a crossover district. Washington's 8th district has gone for Republicans for Congress, but also carried Democratic presidential candidates Hillary Clinton and former President Barack Obama. Democratic operatives and activists hope next year's midterms will be a referendum on President Trump and hot-button issues like health care and immigration at a time when D.C. seems more divided than ever. Yes, there is frustration uh, uh, because of the, the lack of uh, congeniality here and the, the ability to work together, but I think that's really based upon two, two basic factions uh, operating against each other from an ideological um, standpoint. So what do you think could change that? that that's a good question. I, that, that maybe uh, you know has to be answered by the voters. I, I think that uh, you, you know some of the redistricting issues need to be uh, need to be addressed, and how some states redistrict to form strong Democrat districts or strong Republican districts, because those members of Congress come back and voice the voice of their people.